Hi, I'm Alex Petty from Sigidaris Corporation, and I want to show you some additional effects of the uh, circuit that I've been working with. Now, take a look at this apparatus. I've got um, a bowl of water here. In the bowl of water, I've got a uh, 120 watt, 100, sorry, 120 volt, 100 watt halogen light bulb. Um, I've got that in submerged in a, in normal, you know, tap water. Okay. I've got um, these two rods here that go up. Uh, tied together by a bar, another copper uh, rod at the top. And the bottom of each of those rods, I've got high voltage capacitors. I've got coming back from that, I've got a spark spark gap here, and then I've got the high voltage transformer. Okay, so I'm going to be sending the um, signal through this, and um, what you're going to be seeing is the light bulb is going to be fully illuminated, um, although it won't be lit with the usual kind of energy. This is going to be the nonlinear waveform that we send you there. It's referred to as XC. Tesla used to call it radiant energy, and some today call it scalar, uh, scalar waves. So um, when this light bulb is lit uh, in this way, um, I will be able to put my hand in the water. Um, I'm, you can see these bare leads right here. Uh, I'm going to touch these bare leads with my bare hands, um, all of that underwater, and no harm um, will come to me, again, because of the nature of this energy. It doesn't, doesn't seem to interact in the, in the way that the, uh, that the conventional energy, the usual stuff, it does. One thing, one point I want to make, uh, no one should try this at home unless they absolutely know what they're doing, because this circuit, if you do it incorrectly, will kill you. So do not do this unless you are absolutely 100% sure that you know you know what you're doing. Okay, so I'm going to turn the circuit on, and when I do, you won't be able to hear a thing I'm saying because it's so loud. So I'm just going to you know, demonstrate. Here we go. Okay, so as you can see, that the energy that illuminated that light um, did not uh, present any kind of current uh, through my body of any kind. Uh, it, it's again, it's not that the energy travels in the usual way through the conductor, but rather um, it, it moves such through that wire in such a way that it's the, the, the filament in the light, the, resist, the resistor in the light, is where the energy uh, or originates from. So that light, you saw me yank my hands at one point, is because that bulb is getting very hot. There's a lot of energy moving through the circuit. Um, you know, that bulb is producing tons of light and tons of heat. But um, again, uh, even with my hands submerged and, you know, and, and touching the bare leads, uh, I, you know, I didn't, you know, I, I was obviously wasn't harmed. And uh, so, so this is a very compelling demonstration of, of how, you know, this nonlinear waveform, how XC power transmission is um, a very different phenomenon. So, uh, again, I want to thank you very much for uh, taking time to watch this video. Uh, I'm Alex Petty. Singularix.com is the website where you can learn more about what we're doing. Also, take a look at JeffreyNCook.com. Jeff is the CTO of Singularix. Thanks very much. Bye.